empty-handed. Agreed? What do you do with a visitor that comes to your house and says, I'm going to stay here for a week, but I didn't bring anything? What do you do? Right. So, but when you're taking, when you're doing a environment and you're taking from one, one item to another item, what's happening to the one you're taking it from? Exactly. So this is the one thing. So this is the one thing we all face, no matter where you work, especially when there are politicians involved. Now we, we have this very often. We have it very, very often. So we kind of try to tell the politicians, you can't just say something because you like it, because you don't understand what the implications, what the impact of this is. We already work with a very restricted budget. We, have, we never ever have enough money. We try to stretch it as far as possible. Now you add to the mandate and you, we have an unfunded mandate. So sometimes what we do is we listen to the politician and we take the mandate and we start working on the the mandate, we start planning for it, right, internally. So we're not spending a lot of money on that mandate. Then we cost it. We say, for us to implement this mandate, this is what it will cost. And when we go to the GBD or we go to anywhere that we, 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 we have a, a system where we have to bid for funds and we have to put forward our arguments and then we get the, the money, uh, then we would say the cost of implementing this over the MTF would be more or less so much. Right, it came as an instruction, we have to start including it. Now the cost is this. And then you will start engaging with the GBD to say, I can start with it like this. Because you cannot tell the politician you're not going to do it, isn't that so? I will start with it like this. In the first year, this is what I will do. In the second year, this is what I will do. This is the, and only when the GDP is convinced that it is going to work like that, then they will say to you, yes, no. this is how you will provide the money for this item. So it's, you just can't pick up everything and start moving with it. Especially when, they, when, you, when you have unfunded mandates, and you may get such a big list of unfunded mandates that you may not be able to, you, 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 it will be chaotic, you won't know what to do. Okay. So that is the first, the first thing you need to understand, you need to understand which is your legislation, what are the pieces of your legislation. Now when I looked at your, uh, <laughs> it may be incorrect, when I looked at your strategic plan, it, I couldn't really see the things listed of where your mandates came from. I couldn't see whether you had said it was the law. I couldn't see whether it said, now you must remember, my Arabic is not so great, okay? <laughs> so it must have been there and maybe I didn't see it. But if it is not there, you have to put this into your strategic plan. Because if somebody like me or anybody else that is reading your strategic plan, they would want to know well, what is it or why have they selected these programs and projects. So you've got to say it was the international treaty with whatever that you sign in terms of whatever act, you need to say what your legislation is, you need to uh, explain where you are getting these mandates or why you are, why you are doing what you are doing. All right, so that was just one of my observations. It could be correct. Uh, let's go on to the next slide. Thank you. Now, 
you know the SWOT analysis. Yes, please. هي خاطئة نعم. هي خاطئة لأنه إحنا المشهور على الموقع مصفوفة الأهداف وليست الوثيقة الكاملة. إذا بزوجة الوثيقة وثيقة فيها تاريخ تأسيس السلطة لماذا أسست؟ وما القانون أمشي القانون المهام الأساسية والعدد الاتفاقيات وذكرات التعاون مع جميع المؤسسات الداخلي والخارجي وإشارة لمجلسها وكيف يعمل المجلس وحتى نظام التنظيم الإداري تم فيها مديرية ووحدة فالوثيقة شامل كل ما تفضل لكن المنشور على الموقع هو فقط مصفوفة الأهداف وليس الوثيقة كاملة، الوثيقة كاملة فيها الرؤية والرسالة والقيم Okay, may I ask you, Mr. Mohammed, why you do not publish all that information? Why do you not share that information? We had a long discussion before you arrived about this and why we think you should be sharing this information. Now, why? Why don't you publish it? هذا اللي نكتفي بنشر الرؤية والرسالة هو مصفوفة الأهداف وأحيانا القيم وهذه اللي بتخص أحيانا العملاء اللي بيتعاملوا مع المؤسسة لأنهم يعرفوا ما هي وقت المؤسسة ورسالتها وقيمها وأهدافها الاستراتيجية الأساسية الوثيقة كبيرة بالحجم وقد تكون أحيانا مسألة تقنية لتحديد الوثيقة كاملة على الموقع ما في ما في سبب لعدم النشر بنقوم بطباعتها وتوزيعها على جميع الشركاء والمؤسسات وايضا لانه احد الاشياء اللي بنتبعها انه قبل ما نطرقها بشكلها النهائي بنرسلها لجميع الستيك هولدرز بشكل عام سواء كانوا شركاء او عملاء بنقطع الفيدباك تبعهم وبنعدل فيها وثم يعني بنطرقها بشكل رسمي واطلع لكن غالبا Uh, now, you know, in terms of international best practice, it should be shared with everybody because remember, your stakeholders are very wide. As Asiza, you have a very wide range of stakeholders. Now, I may seem like an insignificant stakeholder, but I'm a stakeholder because I, I have an interest. Right, I want to see what you are doing. So if, if you think about it in the sense that you also work with international communities, an international company that wants to do business with you or engage with you, they want to know about your strategic plan. Right, so you need to share that information. So you need to think beyond what you are currently doing. And you need to say, there needs to be, if you have in your, if you have in terms of your values, transparency, then that's one of the things, right? So you need to have it there that it can be shared. تم أخذها كملاحظة علما أنه بالموقع علما أنه بالموقع الخارجي موجود قانون المنطقة كامل وموجود المهام بالإضافة إلى الرؤية والرسالة والأهداف السابقة لكن سيتم ضمها جميعا بوثيقة واحدة هاي ملاحظة أشكر الحليفة وأخذنا لها في جميع So actually this is where we said when we started off we're supposed to be learning from one another, we're supposed to be open, we're supposed to share the knowledge of how we can improve our data. Right. So now we go to the SWOT analysis that you do, you do do a SWOT analysis, you know what a SWOT analysis is and I apologize again, you know my is limited. Iyad, Iyad has made a deal with me. He's going to teach me Arabic and I will uh, 
What are the things that are not so good about us as an organization? Uh, so it may be, uh, maybe you're not in a good location, that could be a weakness, right? Or maybe you don't have sufficient uh, staff, then you need to start working on those weaknesses. So generally, the positive things are your strengths, right? It's your assets your resources, your opportunities, and your prospects, if you look at a Caesar, that's what you would, it would be. But if you go back and you now say, let me see what are the, the, the weaknesses, what are the negative? So we have been talking about positive, the plus and the minus, the negative is what is it that is limiting you from achieving everything you'd like? What are your limitations? What are your threats? Right. One of the, the threats could be maybe a war. Isn't that so? I mean, we all know how, pardon? A war? A war. Yes. And we all know how the Ukraine and Russian war has impacted on all of us, no matter where you are in the world. Our currency, because of the war and so many other things, has devalued so much that the value of a dollar has now doubled. I mean, you know, we, we have to pay double the amount for a dollar, so that's how it is. Yes. So it's price of petrol, right? We all know those are kind of threats. And then the challenges that you may have, they are your threats. So once you have identified that, once you've identified your uh, strengths and weaknesses and your uh, opportunities and threats, you take the positives and you build on that. Right, you take your positives, what are my positives, and you start building on that. Because that's what's going to grow your organization. If I've got, if I'm in an ID location, if I have all the resources, then I can develop and expand. But, and then you don't completely ignore your threats. Your threats, you kind of think about them and you say, what is it that is my biggest risk here? And how will I plan for that risk? Right, so you may be in the best location and you may have the best infrastructure, but you don't have the people. How are you going to move forward? So now the weakness is the, is the skills, the skills that you have. Right. So then you start building on those things because that will then become a priority. Right, so we move to the next uh, slide and we talk about the impact effort to it. Next slide, Mona. Next one. Right, when we talk about the impact effort of grid, now normally we would just develop a grid, and we use this for lots of things. We even use it in our projects. 
when we develop a project, we normally will, will draw up the impact effort. And we'll say, we start on the left hand side at the bottom, we say easy to do, on the top it is difficult to do, then at the bottom it is low impact, meaning uh, low changes or high impact. So if you look at this, we say the things that are easy to do and have a low impact, we can do now, the easy things, we're going to choose them, right, because we want to show that our quick ways. The things that have a high impact and are easy to do, we're going to say, wow, we're going to do this for sure. And then we have the difficult to do, but it has a high impact, we're going to take that. But we leave out the difficult to do, low impact. Why? Why would we leave them out? Why would we not waste time on this? Because we're going to exert a lot of energy. Isn't that so? A lot of our resources. And it's making a little bit of difference. It's low. So we're not going to waste our resources. We have to look at it to say, if we want to do this, is it really worth our while? And that's how we select what we want to do. Right. I. I would say maybe go back and look at your stuff and then you tell, you look at it and think about it. You know, sometimes you work and work and work and, and it's not going anywhere. So we spoke about this earlier. Those projects that are not working, we just get rid of them. We just take, we get rid of them or we park them somewhere. When Iyad has no more work to do, we can have to now take that one and start. If we can, if you've got money, yeah, take this and start with this. Right, because it's too much of effort to be not to be in our <coughs> Any questions up to there? Who's struggling with those projects? High in, uh, 